Hey guys, welcome back. Um, sorry to not make a video in a long time. I've just been kind of busy and I mean really I have no excuse. I just haven't made a video. But today's video is really, really special to me. It's going to be kind of a review video. Um, I just, um, a couple of weeks ago, maybe like a month or two ago, I got a new purse. It's a Dior. And, um... I love Dior. This is one of my favorite brands. It's one of my favorite designers. It's one of my favorite just everything. Um, it's just so timeless, so sexy. I feel like Dior is of the very, very upscale designers, the sexy one because, you know, whenever Dior first started, um, it was, you know, the new look, which was a very cinch waist, which is very hourglass. So that's just very sexy, and they've been, you know, kind of doing that all throughout, and that's their thing, is being very effortly, effortly sexy, if you know what I mean. So yeah. So, I mean, it's just, I love it. My favorite purse of all time is the Lady Dior. I already have one, which I absolutely love, and I saw this one. I absolutely had to have it, just because of the colors of it, and it's a seasonal piece, and I'm just very drawn to seasonal pieces. I rarely, rarely ever go for classic pieces, you know, because I always love that classic with a twist. So, yeah. So, this particular purse, um... Came with the dust bag and all of this stuff. Um, I've already used it maybe like two times already. And because of the color, I definitely don't want to, you know, I'm going to try to use it not too, too much because it, you know, the color is very light so it will get dirty. And um, if you didn't know, um, so yeah, this is the bag. So yeah, this is the Spring 2014 bag. Um, it's a tri-colored one. They've been doing tri-colors for, I want to say, the past two or three years. This one um, is by far my favorite one. I really like the very, very first one. Well, actually, you know what? I've liked all of them. But, you know, I could get my hands on this one. I finally had enough money to get this one whenever it came out. And the other tri-color ones, I mean, I've been looking for them in pre-sale sites on eBay, on Yogi's Closet on fashion file on all of those um but they just don't really come up whenever like once a year they come up i don't have the money for it so that sucks so i mean this one was kind of like perfect time because i got it for the boutique it's brand new it's this season so pretty cool right but um so yeah since it is made out of lambskin it's very very delicate I definitely don't want to get any color transfer on it. The pink one that I have is a very light kind of bubblegum pink. So it already has some color transfer on it. And the handles, as you can see, is this kind of this yellow, bright yellow color. So of course it is going to get dirty with my hands on it. And the shoulder strap is as well yellow. So um, if I have something like a dark or a yeah dark color shirt on it will get color transfer on the strap as well so um it's it's very 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 it's a very very you know touchy bag it's like you know it's one of those bags he's kind of like just look at me but don't really use me because i am very delicate but i love it i absolutely adore it i'm so happy to have it it's just amazing um Another reason that I love Lady Dior's is because you don't see them out very often. You know, I love Chanel to death. I want a billion Chanel's. But they're a lot more common. Celine's are a lot more common. Um, of course, Louis Vuitton is probably the most common. But, you know, you rarely see Dior's out. You know, which is why I'm kind of like, I think more drawn to it. Because whenever you see it, it's kind of like, oh my gosh, you know, there's a Lady Dior. There is a Miss Dior. There is a Durissimo. Um, you know, all their bags are just kind of, you don't see them out too much. Um, I work at a store, which is kind of like an upscale store. It's not a luxury store, but it is higher priced. And, um, very rarely we get a customer with a Dior and I'm just like, oh my gosh, you know, I want to like talk about their bag all day, but I don't want to seem weird. You know, I'm just like, oh, what a cute bag or, oh, you know, one girl came in with a little mini the little mini Lady Dior and it was like a bright orange color or a bright 
pink it was either pink or orange one of those and I'm just like oh my goodness I just want to follow you all around and just look at your bag because as you know I am a bag junkie so yeah um okay so about the bag let me get my I, br I wrote down some notes about this bag like the actual size measurements and everything okay sorry how to get my phone um, I don't even know where to get to the notes in this phone. Okay, there we go. All right, so some lovely facts about this lovely lady. Um, so as you know, this bag was first introduced. Um, actually, it was I think it was first made um in the nineteen early nineteen nineties. It wasn't until 1995 whenever it got world recognition because Lady Diana w did start to use it. Um, Lady Bernadette Chirac um, gave Princess Diana this bag in, yeah, 1995 and then it was shortly renamed. I'm not sure what the original name was. I'm not sure if it even had a name. I'm not sure. I tried to research all I could about this bag before. Um, it was seen on Lady um, Princess Diana, but um, I couldn't find anything about it. I couldn't find like when it was originally made. Um, Jean Galliano um, obviously made this bag, but I don't know, you know, what was his inspiration of it? Why did he make it? What was the original date of this? What was the original name on this? I don't know. Um, I couldn't find any of that information. I do just know that it became famous whenever Lady Diana started using it. Um, Lady Bernadette did give it to her. She was the um, she was the first lady of France. So yes, um, yeah, first lady of France. I don't know if she was Lady Bernadette, but she was the first lady of France. Um, yeah, she gave it to Princess Diana, and then of course was whenever this bag started getting famous. Shortly after Jean Galliano um, renamed it or named it Lady Dior after Princess Diana. And yeah, so um, most of these bags, I know my other one is made in Italy. This one, um, let me see, this one as well is made in Italy. So all of the Lady Dewars are made right outside of Florence in their, um, in their workshop. And yeah, uh, let's see what else. Uh, 144 pieces go into making this bag and it's all handmade. Um, it's made out of lamb. This particular one is made out of lamb skin, but of course there are some that are patent leather, um, some made with exotic skin, some made of fabric. It just kind of depends. The classic ones are made, I believe, just out of lamb skin and patent leather, and then all of the seasonal bags are when they bring in new skins or new um, fabrics as well. So yeah, uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, so the Canage Grid pattern, which is, this is called a Canage print or Canage pattern. Um, it is, um, it comes from Napoleon Three chairs that were seen in Dior's very first fashion show in 1947. So in the fashion show, he has chairs out and on the back of the chairs, it has this kind of Canage print and this is where this, or pattern, not print pattern and this is where the pattern of this comes from so yeah it has the charms um the o is big which if you've seen my other lady dior the d is a big um letter and then the i o r is the little ones and then this one um the o is the big one and then the d's are little ones so i got the pink one pre-owned and i took it to the dior boutique and they said that very few um, Lady Dior's during that time, during 2005, 2006, uh, were made with the big D. So that's why mine has the big D and that's why almost all the other ones um, have the big O. This is the most common. I don't think they've made any new ones with the big D, but I could be mistaken, but I don't believe so. Um, so yeah, so on the back it has Christian Dior stamped in. So yeah, um, this bag, it's, like I said, it's really just a bag, like you just kind of look at it and it's just like, look at me and I'm beautiful. But I, I particularly don't find this very practical to use every day. I love the structure of it. I'm obsessed with structured bags. Um, you can hold it on your shoulder or on your elbow. 
but if you get tired it does have the strap the only thing that makes it not suitable for every day for me is just because you can't open it too much and if you do i feel bad open it too much because then i feel like it's ruining the integrity of the bag so it's just very very hard to like really get a lot of stuff in there and a lot of stuff out so when i use this bag i do very minimal items i use my smallest wallet that i have Sometimes I don't even use a wallet and I just like kind of throw my keys and my lipstick in there. I treat this bag like a very, very tiny clutch. And you know how you rarely put anything in a tiny clutch? This is what I do with this bag. I rarely put anything in there. Um, so that's the only downfall for me for this bag. But I mean, other than that, I'm completely in love with it. It has little feet on the bottom so the leather doesn't touch the ground whenever you put it like on a floor or on a table or on anything. You know, it kind of has that protection. Um... So yeah, I basically love this bag. It's amazing. It's so fun. It's like I said, it's classic with a twist. Um, yeah. Just amazing. And I've just noticed I haven't even taken the plastic off the metal back here. That's so lame of me. I took it off in the front, but not in the back. So yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. That's basically it. Um, on my other Dior, I did notice that it does start to wear here in the corners. But that's just because it's lambskin. And lambskin is very, you know, delicate and stuff. So, yeah. Um, also, whenever I bought it, the lady told me that once a year, I should make it a good practice to just take it to the Dior boutique. And they can ship it back off to Italy or to France. And they will do, like, a whole clean, like, clean it and condition the leather and everything and whenever I get it back it's going to be like new so I'm definitely going to try to do that just to keep this bag as pristine as possible but yeah it's it's really it's really a lovely bag and this bag particularly has a very sentimental value to me just because this is the very first designer bag what is like yeah the first and only designer bag that my dad bought for me particularly like knowing how much it costs because I do have other designer bags but it's bags that me and my mom buy together we save up together we you know put our money together and we save and then we buy and you know my dad knows but he's like okay whatever you know you guys do whatever you want with your money but this is the bag where um I saw this bag at the store at the Saks at the Dior boutique in Saks and I took a picture of it I'm like oh my gosh mom look at this bag um because I shown her this bag, I think in late 2013, I think whenever the first promo pictures for these bags for the seasonal 2014 spring bags came out. So I showed her, I'm like, Mom, I want this bag. And she's like, yeah, yeah, you want every bag. Um, so then I saw it there at the boutique and I took a picture of I'm like, oh my gosh, Mom, they have this bag. And my mom was at um, work and my dad and mom worked together. So she was there texting me and my, my dad's like, who are you texting? And my mom's like, oh, I'm texting, you know your daughter pretty much um this bag and he she showed him a picture and then she showed him how much it cost and um after a little bit of like kind of playing and begging because I mean I I never ever ever thought that my dad would say go and buy it like here's the money go because just you know he's never done that I've never asked him for anything this is why I was like I don't know so yeah I was like oh come on come on it's so pretty so pretty you know I need it but yeah he's just like there you go go get it. And I'm like, oh my goodness. So, um, yeah, that's why this bag is really special to me because my daddy got it for me and it's the first and only bag that he's ever, you know, gotten, gotten for me. Everything else is just kind of me and my mom saving up and yeah, so it's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, so it's a really short video. Um, uh, like I said, I have nothing bad to say except, you know, it is very hard to get in and out of the little entry zipper away but other than that it's it's made very well it holds up very well um the other one I have is from 2005 and is 2014 it still looks really 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 good I do need to get cleaned a little bit just because of the color transfer in the back but you know other than that that's it um it just feels like better this one on the inside has a leather lining on the inside so there's no fabric to this bag no um no fabric everything inside and outside is leather so that's really nice my pink one the inside is fabric 
and the outside is leather this one i don't know if it's because this one's seasonal um, special edition or if they're not starting to do that with all the bags but yeah this one and it's the same color as well so inside is going to get super dirty as well so this is why i kind of do very minimal items in there it's starting to fall asleep um so yeah the little lady i absolutely love it and let me see if I, I don't know how this is going to look on camera, so hopefully it looks okay. And if it doesn't, then I'll um, cut it out. But, I'm sorry, I'm like standing in front of my closet and my shoes won't let me go anymore back. Okay, so this is how it looks. Um, on the kind of elbow. And, you know, if you want to carry it like this, I love the look of, like, carrying it like this. It feels, I feel like I'm carrying, like, a briefcase. You know how ladies carry briefcases at work? Or when I was little, I used to watch movies and ladies when I carried their briefcases. So I love like, carrying my bags like this. I don't know. It makes me feel official. But, yeah, um, has the charms. And let me put the shoulder strap on it and see if... So, um... A little tidbit, uh, if you put your, sh your shoulder strap on the outside of the hook, not on the inside, but the outside, whenever you're carrying it, the strap stays up, uh, the handle straights up, see, to where it holds the shapes, because if you put it in the inside, um, the shoulder's going to, or the handle's going to strap down like that, and I don't like that, I like it to be up. So yeah, oh my goodness, my foot is so asleep right now. So yeah, this is how it looks. Hopefully you can see it. And as you can see, the strap is not very long. Um, this particular strap isn't long. So I can't carry it crossbody. Well, I can, but it looks just a little weird. It's like way too high. See, it's like right there at my ribcage. So it looks a little strange. So I um, just wear it over my shoulder. Oh, let me tell you the measurements. I totally forgot it. That's why I was going to get it get my iPhone to look at the notes um okay um so the measurement of this is nine inches across eight inches height and then four inches I'm guessing four inches here at the base because as you can see it kind of goes up a little bit you know kind of angles up so yeah yeah because if you can see at the very bottom it has three of the quilts or of the little puffy spots um then the next layer is also three then the next layer um it kind of cuts off the angles and at the very top it's just that one with like maybe one fourth of the quilts on the side showing so yeah it angles up a little bit on the back it is all very symmetrical all the same um, the front, of course, is the same as well. And then the bottom is just a solid. I know at the patent leather ones, they have... Let me put my phone down. On um, um, the patent leather ones, they have a solid side. And I think the lambskin ones are the ones that have the quilts all over, or the canage pattern all over. So, yeah. Um, the handles is flat on the inside. And it has a little bit of a, like a, I don't even know what to call that, thing on the outside. <laughs> I know, it's a very bad explanation, sorry. Um, so yeah, this is how it looks if you want to carry it with it. I kind of like carrying with the strap just because it has a little pop of yellow right there. So yeah, and whenever you store it or whenever, um... It comes with this little pouch to put on the charm, and then of course it comes with a dust bag. And I recommend putting all your bags in dust bags just to keep it safe from the dust. And then um, structured bags like this, and actually any bag, I put stuff in all my bags. So this one is all stuffed in with paper right now. I'm gonna take the paper out and see if you can see the inside. So yeah, um, like I said, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it is yellow in there with the blue on it. So yeah, 
and like I said, you can't open it that much at it at all. Um, so yeah, so that's my review on the little lady on Lady Dior. Um, like I said, personally, I absolutely love it. I have no complaints except that I can't put anything, or I can't open it that much. But other than that, I'm in love with this bag. I hope my collection of these will grow. Um, I would love to get every single color in this one and every single skin. I think my next one, which probably won't be like in years, just got how pricey they are and prices are just keeping, like, they just go up every year, two or three times a year. But I would love to get an exotic skin of this one. Just like a snake skin. I'm so for snake skin. So yeah, this is it. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope this answers any questions. Like if you were like looking for answers or questions or had questions about the Lady Dior, hopefully this video answers it. How it looks, how um, overall how it is. It's a very delicate bag. It's I personally don't use it as, a, as an everyday bag. I'm you know if. I mean, you could if you wanted to. I personally wouldn't just because I don't want it to lose the structure of the bag or the lambskin. I don't want it to get um, damaged too much. I don't want too much color transfer on it. I don't want to get dirty. I'm just, I just, I just bet you this bag. But it's my favorite. I love it. So, um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you have um, any requests for me or anything, I'm going to start trying to make videos more often. I know I say this all the time. Hopefully I can. Um, let's do a quick little outfit of the day. Um, necklace is from Club Monaco. The blouse is from Ann Taylor. I love this one because it has a snake print on it, but it's pink. Like I said, I love snake print. So yeah. And then my shorts. I don't know if you can see my shorts. Um, they're just a little like festival shorts for American Eagle. Um, I recently took a trip to LA and just stocked up on their festival shorties because I love them. And it makes me wish like I was at Coachella this weekend. Um, but I wasn't. But I was there in spirit. Yes. Okay. Alright. Thank you so much for watching and see you, I guess see you guys next time.